Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys what are the best AMD Radeon settings for gaming and your PC with the new AMD software settings dropped recently and with the new drivers. I hope this guy helps you out so make sure to stick around till the end and with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, so number one is the coming to the AMD driver and support page. This is where you can find drivers for your processor and your graphic card. Once you're over here, you can download the latest drivers over here, or you guys can simply look up for graphics and select your graphic card series. And over here, you can find your graphic card. For me, it will be 6600 XT and then click on submit, or you guys can simply download the drivers over here. Okay, before moving ahead, I want to tell you guys about Ezus VoiceWay, which is a super amazing voice changer powered with AI offering over 300 voices and a completely customizable environment which you can download from the link in the description below you can not only use it real time but you can also use it to change voices in pre-recorded audios and videos and here is how my voice sounds like in this application and it is super amazing so go check out easiest voice way from the link in the description below this will automatically install the amd adrenaline software on your pc and once you are over here you guys can see your driver and software click on check for updates and make sure that you're always using the latest driver available by amd the latest drivers will always help you to keep your pc optimized for gaming and it helps you to fix a lot of FPS issues, lagging and bugs. Now to set up your graphic card settings, head over to the gaming tab over here and then go over to graphics. Then set this quality to custom and now disable AMD super resolution and AMD fluid motion frames too. You guys can enable it for games specifically, but for the overall, you guys can disable it. For Radeon anti-lag, you have to enable it. Radeon boost, chill, image sharpening, enhanced sync, you have to turn all of them off. Frame rate target control should be set to disabled. Anti-aliasing go with use application settings. Anti-aliasing method go with multi-sampling. Morphological anti-aliasing should be disabled. Anisotropic filtering, should be set to enabled and isotropic filtering level should be set to 2x texture filtering quality should be set to performance surface format optimization should be turned on tessellation mode should be amd optimized then open gl triple buffering and 10 bit pixel format should be turned off after that click on perform reset on the reset shader cache then click on ok this will clean up all of the current cache that you have from your games and it will reload all of the cache for your games with the new settings. Now head over to record and stream over here and then go down to settings. Over here you're gonna have to turn all of these settings off over here as well as the live streaming section where you have to disable everything. Then for media, instant replay, instant gif and in-game replay turn all of them off. Now head over to performance over here and then you'll find tuning over here simply go to tuning go down and you find your graphic card right over here what you guys have to do is basically find out amd smart access memory over here and simply enable it if for any chance you guys cannot see smart access memory here is how you guys can enable it on your PC. So to enable that, you have to open up your BIOS utility and over here, head over to the advanced tab. Then find a PCI subsystem settings and in here you'll find above 4G decoding. This is different according to different motherboards, but over here you have to look for above 4G decoding. This is the one that you're looking for. Simply enable it and right after that, a resize bar support will appear in front of you. Click on auto over here and once it with that head over to the boot option and then you'll find launch csm you have to basically disable csm over here and once you're done with that head over to the exit tab and simply save these settings after that you have to restart your pc okay after you have enabled that head over to smart technology then for this smart technology you guys have to go down and find amd smart access memory simply turn this thing on after that head over to the settings page over here and you'll find system check for updates should be turned on issue detection should be turned on as well now go to display over here 
and then for your display 1 and display 2 if you use them enable amd freesync premium then for gpu scaling you have to enable this scaling mode should be set to preserve aspect ratio integer scaling should be disabled and for color depth if 10 bpc is available for your pc use that pixel format i recommend you guys to use rgb 4 is to 4 is to 4 with full rgb over here display color enhancement should be turned off for custom color you guys have to enable it and for the color color temperature you have to enable this and for the saturation go with the value 120 or 140 this will make your colors look out more realistic and vivid color efficiency control should be turned off over here you will find overrides simply head over to that and dhcp support you have to disable it because by default it is set to on after that head over to audio and video and for the video profile set this thing to enhanced then head over to hotkeys and turn off hotkeys right away. Go over to the preferences tab over here and the in-game overlay you have to disable it. System tray menu should be turned on, toast notification should be turned on and the most important one animations and effects you have to disable this. Once you're done with that, go back to home and you are good to use amd adrenaline software with the best settings possible but there are a lot of other tweaks available to optimize your amd to get the 100 percent output out of it and for that you have to firstly create a restore point for that simply search for create a restore point on your pc and over here look for a local disk c simply click on create and name it amd Ad adrenaline and then click on enter i highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss once that is done simply Simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is the new AMD GPU optimization pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below and I highly recommend you guys to download this because it has the power to optimize your graphic card to the maximum potential. Firstly, you'll find AMD GPU optimization in which you'll find 5 simple registry files. They will help you to put up the best GPU settings, SFIO priority, disable your GPU energy driver and power throttling. This will make sure that your GPU consumes enough power to run everything smoothly. And lastly will be prioritize AMD GPU which will help you to prioritize your GPU to render your games. All of them will help you to utilize 100% of your graphic card which is not being utilized on a daily basis. To run them you can simply double click to run all of them i have already done it after that go back to the main folder that is pc optimization in which i have left boost pc responsiveness disable large system cache and disable power throttling all of them will help you to reduce your input and render latency disable unwanted dump files creating in the background and lastly disable power throttling to ensure that your pc does not save power or resources by cutting off the power supply after that go back to the main folder and you'll find in useful programs over here firstly screen temporary files you have to right click on this as administrator this will simply ask you to press any key to continue simply do that and it will start deleting all temporary files from your pc this is completely safe to do so next is msi mode utility 3.0 simply right click and run this as administrator over here you have to find your graphic card that is right over here click on the msi button in front of it and for the interrupt priority set this thing to high this will set up the correct sfio priority for your graphic card and ensure that it is performing on 100 percent with that head over to the last folder that is batch tweaks in which i have left some command prompts you can right click and open them in notepad to see what are the things that they are going to change it will help you to disable your high precision event timers and some system services that are completely useless which you guys can simply right click and edit them in notepad to see what are the ones that they are going to disable and they will generally help you to optimize your pc's performance reduce input latency render latency increase the power performance and your gpu performance in overall once you're done the amd gpu optimization pack simply close it and now you guys can go into the game and enjoy the best fps possible with the best settings for your graphic card so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button we are really close to 210,000. so we have also launched channel membership so if you guys are not a channel member yet consider getting the membership as it really supports me we'll see you guys in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out